Hey guys, Marshmallow Trump here, back with another video. And today we're going to be unlocking Mako Tsunami. So, uh, to get his character unlock missions and for him to appear at the gate, uh, one, you have to get, I think it's 150 tribute summons, or something along the lines of that. Not 100%, but I seem to think it's 150. But, tribute summons. That, that's just what you need. Uh, you need to beat him at level 30, use skills 20 times in Jewel World, and successfully perform 6 summons in one Jewel. So today we're going to be doing uh, 6 summons and 20 skills, or 16 skills. And yeah, then we'll go through everything about him in the next video. So this is basically... A video saying like hey let's get him and then the next one will be like here's what you get when you get him <laughs> so I'm going for the summon six monsters I'm going for the Yugi deck that you get as soon as you unlock him aka terrible That should be one. But just in case it isn't, that's one. That's two. Get her to show up on her turn. This should be the third one. Okay. I don't even know what she's doing. I'm just letting it happen. Do I say three? Got Horn Imp, Feral Imp, and then this Feral Imp again. This should be four. The reason I'm clicking the auto jewel and then off is because then she shuts up. So one, two, three, four. I'm not sure if setting counts, so it's five.
I'm not sure if tributes are in counts either. So just to make sure, I'm just going for the plain summon in attack position. Now let's just clear up some space. Why not watch this? So I had the two imp, two feral imp, the third one, the horn imp, the curtains. So that should be six. So I'm just going to click auto jewel now. And let this just carry on. Boom. If this don't count, I don't know what will, but. Here we go. That's that one done, hopefully. Well, it should be. I got ten free gems out of that. Yep, so that's that one. I know what to do. So, I am back. I've actually been away for quite a bit. Like, 15 minutes. So before I carry on, I just want to point some out. This here, this sign, with a little thing on it, you might not think much of it, but I think that may be a card. Or at least resembles a card. I mean, most of the signs do, it's quite obvious, like this one that's Curry Bandit, and there's lots of Blue Eyes ones and stuff like that. But I think this one is for a specific card. What? Oh. Looks as if this card ain't, ain't game yet then. But as you could see, it's a card called Mystic Lamp. And it looks a bit like it. Although I don't know if that's literally just the actual like serving tool though. Like to pour gravy on or something. I don't know. But anyway, we were unlocking the character. And if I remember correctly, activate skills. Yeah, use skills. So, what I'm going to do...
it's use my deck say your goodbyes spelt b dot eyes for blue eyes and i'm gonna draw this girl because i've got the skill beat down which you can use every single turn so once i got a blue eyes or summit of high level i can just keep spamming that like just end my turn do nothing use that Ugh. Yes! What a lucky draw. I actually used that a bit early, so if I was online, like ranked, I'd be kicking myself, but... It's a duel against a non-named bot. So I've auto jeweled her turnover. I got two big high level monsters out. Meaning basically it's more sturdy than just having one in it, really. So I can just keep spamming the skill beat down. So I'm on turn four. And I need to get through like 15 more turns for me. Cosmo Brain is literally overpowered. As soon as it says opponent draws card in this bottom bit, that's when you can turn it off the uh, auto jewel. Because if you don't, it might run over onto your turn and like kill a bot that you're trying to keep alive. So now here's just like grinding really. Oh crap. Not only did it not use my skill, but it tried fighting. So yeah, that happens. Because when it auto draws, it doesn't use abilities either. Unless it's... It's uh, skills, sorry. Unless it's the one that you start off with at the beginning. I'm going to use this just because I'm sick of it popping up. But that's not how I act online, don't worry. I don't just waste all my spells and traps. But like I said, it's a bot who's like major weakling.
So I'm probably just going to keep going until her deck runs out. Trying to see if Dragon Spirit of White would count as Blue Eyes for Blue Eyes Ultimate. I'm pretty sure I knew it didn't already. But there's no harm in trying this, there really. I like how this mat and this deck was made for Blue Eyes Solid Dragon, but literally no one uses it. I've seen one guy make a deck about Blue Eyes Solid Dragon, and he had more copies of the common ticket, because you know there's the tickets and you can get the common cards from him. He had more rabid dragons than he did blue eyes in there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only time online I've actually seen blue eyes solid dragon in the deck. He never even pulled out a rabid dragon, a blue eyes, or anything of them sorts. Yeah, blue eyes solid, blue eyes, cosmo brain. He didn't pull out anything big, because I killed him too quick. If you want to know how I know, on ranked, there's that thing in the where you can see the opponent's deck after the match if you click the deck button. And I know it's a bit sad, but I always look. Wait, did that say it'd been added from the deck to the gra from the graveyard to the deck instead of deck to my hand? Nope. Still there. The amount of beatdown skill I'm using right now. I swear if it doesn't count, I'll be pretty sad. And I'll be pretty mad. But I won't be. A lot. I'm just ditching random cards at this point. All this bot is doing now is drawing and then ending turn. So yeah, it's a bit annoying and grindy, but if you want the character, it's worth it. I mean, I don't want the character really, I'm just doing it for the video. More than I hope. But, um, you never know, I might have a water deck in the future. I mean, I've already got Gladiator Beasts, Gemini, which is my newest. I've got Blue Eyes, I've got Elemental Heroes. Um, I'm building Amazonus and what you call them? Grave Keepers. That's where I've got some more decks. I 
I've almost got an Aroma Mage one. Oh yeah, I've got my Karakuri one, which I really like. And a jeweled RNG life with. And... I got my Vietcroids. Like Cyrus Truesdale Vietcroids. Which is also very cool. So yeah, I got all sorts. It shows that I'm not very consistent, and that's why all my decks are mediocre. But it doesn't matter if my decks are mediocre if I'm good with them. Which, fortunately, I'm good with. Well, she's got no cards left. I think you get extra points for having that happen, yeah. So let's see if I have to use it anymore. Hopefully not. Sorry about that, I, I didn't mean to pause it really there. I clicked to see the uh, timer and I accidentally get paused. So that's that one done. I'll just grab these 10 gate keys. So yeah, having a deck like Beatdown or summer and making the bot deck out is really useful. So now I've completed them all. So I can get Mako Tsunami. I can't head out into the sea until I acquire my own fishing boat. That's why I will become the number one jewelist. Such prestige will allow me to acquire my ship. The ocean awaits me, and I await it. I look forward to facing all that the waters have in store for me. But I shall not travel alone. I will set sail with this. The legendary fisherman. We've won countless jewels together and we shall keep winning. Maku Tsunami and legendary fisherman unlocked. And also, you get a nice picture for your profile. Which I shall show you what that looks like right now. Huh? I've actually got quite a lot of characters. Sorry, I'm just looking. I've got Kybercorp. Red eyes, gold bars, cat, hamster, dog, cat, high level my, I think it's high level, high level weevil, is it weevil, is it weasel, weevil, how have I forgotten, I don't want it, um, high level Tay Gardener, is that Yuki Wee's deck in first episode? Kaiba Wee's cards, I think. Uh, Weevil. Throw in Exodia off the boat. American football, baseball, basketball, tennis ball and racket, golf ball and golf club, football, curry bow. Gold League, Silver League, Bronze League. Officer Testu Trudge, Jaden Yuki, Seto Kaiba. Vagabond, Officer Testu Trudge again. Akiza and Zinsky. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Uh, Yusei Fudo. 
Cyrus Truesdale, Asta Phoenix, Zane Truesdale, Jaden Yuki, Ishizu Ishtar, however you say it, Bandit Keith, Mako Tsunami, Rex Raptor, Weevil Underwood, Tay Gardner, My Valentine, Jerry Wheeler, Seto Kaiba, and Yuki Moto. No, Yami Yuki, not Yuki Moto. Because that's the kid version. So yeah, that that's what the picture looks like. It's actually pretty cool. But I like sticking to my little dark. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time. Wow.